Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Nordic Track. I'm so happy to be working with them again. We needed some more cardio equipment for Michael and I's gym. We got a bike this time, which I'm super excited about because I used to do spin classes in high school and I loved it. It was so much fun. So what I love about Nordic Track though is it's like taking a spin class but anywhere in the world. So if you want to go ride bikes in Italy with a really cool trainer, you literally can. Their iFit program has so many trainers and classes that you can choose from and it just makes cardio really fun. So being said, I'm going to go lift some weights first and then I'm going to go do some cardio. with weights I'm gonna do some cardio on the bike I'm gonna pick one of the classes that they have on iFit I'm probably gonna do something with intervals maybe something with hills absolutely love the iFit bike rides I think they're so fun and it makes it feel like you're riding bikes and like your dream location if you'd like to check out Nora Chuck I will leave a link in the description box below I'm not gonna lie it's really I'm really struggling today my candida symptoms are at an all-time high so basically right now the candida is like no don't kill me like they're trying to like fight my body right now and put off all these symptoms of brain fog, bloating. Michael is such a little brat. Look what he's doing. <laughs> no, not it. But as I told you, the candida is back and the die off symptoms are rough. But I'm just trying to push through it and trying to up my probiotics. So I'm eating a lot of Greek yogurt. And when I eat Greek yogurt, it's actually. This guy, this dude right here. Look at him, he thinks he's so cool. I love him. I just love this man. <laughs> wow, baby. My karate black belt. Hey, What's that? What's that? I'm just telling them. I'm venting about my candida symptoms because they're really bad right now. Yeah, they are really bad. You feel pretty poopy today, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Pay a bang. Well, I got something that'll cheer you up. What? A walk. <laughs> <laughs> I always beg him to walk with me. No, so I guess I'm going on a walk too. Because if he tells me he wants to go on a walk, I'm taking advantage of that. Even if I just did cardio and weights, I'm going to walk. Because I'll take it. Good 
morning, it's the next day. Michael and I are headed to an investment property that we just purchased. It's in Franklin and we're meeting a contractor there to see what it would cost to renovate this thing. And I'm currently eating my overnight oats. This is so good. I tried a new recipe. And then I put yogurt, almonds, honey, bee pollen, and blueberries on it. So yeah, I'm just eating this on the way. Wow, professional beatboxer. A beatboxing page. <laughs> Definitely not. You're so rude, bro. <laughs> Try to get some B roll. It's raining, dog. Yeah, that dog. So here's the front of the house. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip off all that plastic siding, do some board and batten, no. new shutters. Really? Alright, guys. I'm going in, putting on a mask. Here's a little bit of the inside. It's definitely an old home. Very small and quaint. We're gonna move some walls around, um, but I think it'll be really cute when we're done with it. I just got back in the car because there was so much mold in the house. I'm gonna put up a picture right here <laughs> of the ceiling and I kind of freaked out. Even though our contractor gave me a mask I still just didn't want to risk it like I'm already sneezing and like having an allergic reaction anyways I'm just sitting here I'm posting on my snapchat my meals and my workouts right now from yesterday <laughs> stuff like that and then I might go to the gym I'm feeling really fatigued from the candida die-off symptoms so we'll see So I'm on my way to go and see Cashew. I haven't seen him in about a week, so I'm really excited. Um, the weather is kind of spotty today, the, the weather forecast, and that it might rain, it might not. So I'm just going to take my chances, even if I can only brush him and hang out with him underneath like a roof or something, that's fine. Um, but I just want to see him and say hello, considering the amount of time you spend with your horse is really important with a relationship just like any other um so yeah i'm gonna go drive out there <laughs> 